Moo, Gemini. This is your bonus reading for whatever month this is. So yeah, you have like the most views, so you go first. I think it's Pisces next and Capricorn is last. Ooh, looks like you're looking at maybe either giving an offer or getting the prospect of an offer right here with the Princess. Yeah, Princess of Pentacles. I can't talk tonight and I don't know why. It happens. I don't know. I just got off work. I'm tired. <laughs> so it's like, whatever. But at least it's not too terrible. We meet Thunderdome, so we're going to do a reading for two people. You get to decide which one's which. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. But if not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game. Please do not go in on me. Please do not drag me. Because I will go in and drag you. I promise. But at least I will make an attempt of making it funny for everybody. Anyway, let's begin. The Sun and King of Swords Reverse. Might be dealing with a Leo, but you also might be um, looking at your own happiness or what's putting you back in sync with yourself. Maybe even reaching up to your higher self in order to establish a connection with the uh, Rixum of Swords or whatever. Uh, but we got the King of Swords over here. This could be you, also Libra or Aquarius. Someone is being very nasty and just sticking their monkey on whoever it is. You know, like, it'd be more understandable if it was a dog, right? But monkeys have really, um, scary strength. They're kind of freaky. They make screeching noises. And they intend to hurt when they want to hurt. So it's like... It might be justified in whoever this is is mind, but it's really not. It's actually almost an illogical thing. It's very harsh. It's very, uh... Not destructive as much as it is just destructive, you know? <clears throat> Three of Swords and the Fears and Rejections. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, fear of a heartbreak or a rejection of, like, heartbreak somewhere. You just want to mope. Um, eight... Cups. This is like slightly crooked. There we go. Eight of Cups reverse. Like you're kind of stuck on like something from the past more than you are worried about the future. Like you're very cold to the future. You like the past a lot more. More. There's a lot more passion there. Obstacles and challenges coming against you is the Hierophant. You deal with family, friends, marriage, um, community, status, somewhere with a group of people. Um, things might not be unknown to you. There could be somebody who's in a higher position of authority. It could be Taurus you're dealing with in this. Four of Pentacles in the catalyst and final result. What started this and what will end it? <clears throat> the cherishing of two people over possibly yourself. Definitely looking over at the Hierophant over here. There we go, that's a little bit bright. Hopefully that's a little better. Let me just... Oh yeah, that's much better. Actually, I'm going to move this up just slightly. Yeah. There we go. That's a little better to my senses. The beginning theme is Ten of Cups Reverse. Like, I'm dissatisfied. If you have a family or you're dealing with a family setting, you're just sick of it. You want to move out. Um, you're not my real mom kind of shit. <clears throat> my voice. I don't know what's up with it. It's like scratchy. It's like a horrible kind of scratch. It's not even a scratch that satisfies the itch. Let's see Gemini's with this group one. <clears throat> I feel like this person is, um, I feel like they don't want to talk to whoever it is over here. 
Like, they're trying to move on, but it's just, like, in the back of their fucking head, and it's disrupting their whole me time thing. They might be upset because they can't get this, like, I feel like commitment or re reunion. Well, not really reunion, just a gathering together or a fellowship somewhere. Like, that bothers them a little bit. This person right here. And... They're just heartbroken because they're really stuck on this person, even though they give them the shittiest attitude ever. <laughs> it's just like, why do you always have to put me in a shit-ass mood, man? You know. Um, someone tried to take a, 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 some command when a relationship went in the dark or went to die with lovers. That could be you, Gemini. You might have gotten sick of someone's shit, or maybe someone got sick of your shit, but someone tried to take command of what happened afterwards. And it was just like two people couldn't come to an agreement and whatever world was established back here is just fading away into oblivion. Like whatever was created in that world just isn't there anymore. At least this is what this person feels. Like they know about themselves and they're connecting with themselves and they're recognizing what did and did not work for them. Like. It may have been a lack of a victory at that point in time, but going further, it helped them feel more comfortable with who they are now. Um, you know, you can't feel a sense of peace without having a little bit of suffering in it, you know? Which is messed up to say, but that's usually how it works. So this person, I think, had to, like, deal with a lot of suffering before they started learning who they actually were and getting comfortable again. Um, happy without action. Or they feel like their happiness isn't coming to them with the Eight of Wands. Sunnyside re Reverse, though. Like, it's not a bad thing that they feel a little bit stagnant, where they're not moving, but it's like... I don't know. I, either they feel like their happiness isn't moving forward the way they want to, or they're happy with things not moving forward, but I'm not sure yet. They might be dreaming of somebody who is a, uh, I, I don't want to say materialistic goal, but it's like a goal that would make them feel satisfied. You know, like she's surrounded by pentacles, so she is a symbolism of, uh, not property, but of value. Like, is she, it's like wifey material, that's what she is. She's wifey material, it's just like, look at her. She can cook, she can clean, I know she'd be a good mother to my kids, she's got a pet rabbit, she looks like she knows how to wash. Like, total wifey material right here. But from a, um... A face value point of view. Like, she looks good on the outside. Or, that's the image you have of her, that she looks good on the outside. Thinking that's what she looks like on the inside. Not that that's a bad thing, though. Because this might actually be a right assessment of the person. Yeah, someone's mad because they got, like, all their hurt feelings right here. Just very genuinely upset about it. Probably doesn't even want to talk about it. Like, it's still in that energy of where, like, they're moping. Which I think that they need to... That's probably why they can't get their happiness moving. That's what it is. Their happiness can't be moved because they won't let go of, like... I think what they believed was, like, wifey material over here. We got the Hierophant over here. I like to say this guy's like a pastor or something, right? Obstacle and challenge with this dude. Um, this commitment, like, walking away from it to go to something better. This is for somebody who needs to let go of something that happened. Like, so let's say you didn't get the chick you wanted. Um, you aren't doing yourself any favors by hanging on to, like, what you thought was perfect for you. If it's not wifey material, it's you needing to learn how to let go of whatever it was that gave you passion back in the day and find something to be at peace with now. Like, make yourself valuable to yourself. Be your own wifey, you know? If here's an reduction, three of swords. Someone heartbroken, possibly third party. Bad judgment call. Something didn't get resurrected and bad judgment was cast down.
I'm gonna tell you, man, like, if you're gonna, like, whoever this is, if you're judging yourself for things that went down, whether you were in the wrong or not, it really doesn't matter, um, you'll never be able to... Finish out life the way you're meant to, right? You know, judgment only comes to those who don't want to forgive themselves. You know. That's why everybody makes a big deal about judgment, because people think judgment is a um, always necessarily a bad thing. This could have just been a bad idea, and that's why it's being like looked down upon as like it's a bad thing. Or it just had consequences that caused everyone to just feel like, oh, well, that didn't go very well. That didn't help. That might have kept me in a situation longer than what it was. But that, but that's just how it is. Well, all you can do, really, is learn from that and just remember not to do it again because you know what it's like. You know, that's the best thing you can do for yourself. Remember what the hell it was like when this happened and never, ever do it again. You know, the best apology you could ever have is learn behavior and to never do that behavior ever again. That's an apology. And if you're very serious about wanting redemption, well, there you go. The only person who has to redeem themselves for anybody is you. Anybody who cares about your redemption will follow afterward. But don't sit here and hate on yourself and not be happy with yourself just because you might have made a mistake. You know, it's not like you're Hitler or something. Or the Congo Massacre or any of that shit, you know. Like, you're a decent human being. People make mistakes, and as long as you're genuinely trying your best to forgive yourself for those mistakes, that's the important thing. You know, you like you only get this life, and then like you die, and apparently you're supposed to leave for, supposed to forget that, or at least that's what my dad says. And you know, then you start a new one, and you don't remember shit, so you might as well just make the best of this one. Four of Pentacles. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all preachy. Someone's valuing <laughs> the relationship more than they do themselves, I think. And it's like, because it'll make me feel like a rich man. Look, here's the rich wifey material. Here's the rich dude in the house. Sig probably significantly older than this chick, because she doesn't look that old. I mean, she kind of... She looks like she should be singing country music. Honestly. At least that's what it looks like to me. This dude just sitting in his house like, hey, I got some more shit over here. And it's just kind of like, hmm. You know, you're, you're supposed to walk away from that. You know, like, I think you want the commitment, but it's just that divide right there. Right? What is the ending theme? Page of Pentacles. Shadow side reverse. Right? So... I feel like somebody feels like what they did have to offer, this is not what's observed, this is what this person feels like. What they did have to offer was unsatisfactory. That's what I get what this person feels like. And that's a terrible thing to think of yourself. Because, you know, you, you're worth something. Everybody is worth something. Don't let your guilt make you feel like you are unlovable. Or a rejection make you feel like you're not worth it. Because you are. Each and every one of you. Don't you ever let anybody, like, tear you down. Ever. Or let yourself tear yourself down. Um, it's feeling like, you know, you can't come to any sort of conclusive decisions. It's too turbulent. It, oh my god, if I could talk. It's too turbulent. It's too much. It's too excitable. It's too much um, mental barraging in, these, in the water, which represent emotions just crashing around and then there's lightnings and I don't know what the hell I guess that that would be like fire so there's volatile air water and air fire all over the place and you're sitting on one freaking rock <laughs> that is the only solid place and it's just like oh my god I don't know what I'm going to do in this scenario I'm going to die in three possible ways maybe four if I cut my own neck off you know like, journeying out, going out to see what else is out in the world, yes. Like, I think if, if it's too much for you to bear, just take the fuck off. Like, you know, you don't have to make choices. Choosing not to decide is still a choice. 
You know, that's like people who say you that, like, you know, you need to confront people and stand up to yourself all the time. No, you fucking don't. Why do you need to stand up to people? To validate their points of view? Or to defend your point of view like it needs defended? Makes no sense to me. You don't have to defend yourself unless someone's trying to, like, physically harm you. Um, words are just words. Ah, someone feels like a cycle wasn't complete or something or something didn't end. Like something was open ended. Left with some bad taste in her mouth. Someone's trying to get away from that bad karma. They just don't know how to do it. I feel like. And I don't even think it's intentional bad karma or bad karma on their part. They just decided, you know, like they weren't willing to put up a fight and just go somewhere else. Which is fair. Alright, let's move on to group two. Ah, it's so hard to pick up these cards from the other cards, but you know, it's whatever. Group two, let's see what's going on with you. What's your side of this crazy story? I'll take this. Oh, three. Five of Cups. Prince of Swords. The world. I feel like you want, like, the Gemini, either a Libra or an Aquarius, to come rushing in. Start a fucking argument. Interesting. Feels like you're regretting something, too. But I don't know why. Okay. Situation options. Because you got your cup spilt. Uh, challenge and obstacles coming against you. Princess of Wands. She's a traveler, too. These two are both traveling, so that's interesting. Um, wants and wishes, fears and rejections, and what goes around comes around. What started this, what ended it. That family situation with the Ten of Pentacles. Beginning theme. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Cups, Reverse, Selfish Prick is the first thing <laughs> I got out of this. Someone's being very selfish. With their emotions, with other people's emotions, not really thinking about it. Once again, Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. He's not really, he's got his whole back turned to this too. Not really paying attention. Too stuck in his own emotions, I feel like, to even realize what the fuck he's actually going on with them. Or maybe that's what's making him selfish in the first place. Five of Cups right here. Hmm. I feel like they want, like, this Prince of Swords to come in and cause some kind of altercation or clash of some sort to happen so this Ten of Pentacles can come up. Because it's like they're looking at the options of trying to make this happen. Yeah, trying to be like a temptress. Like, let your guard down and come in. Or someone came tempting them. Right? What's this Five of Cups right here? Judgment call. Someone had their cups spilled over. And now a judgment call was made, and it feels like it was a righteous judgment call. Like, I am God, and I decide what happens to who fucking spilled my cups over. Like, whoever did this, I'm the one who gets to cast judgment upon you. And I get to decide who is and is not cool to come into my clubhouse. Like, this is my house. It's made of clouds and shit, right? even got surround sound stereo that floats around. Ooh, we even have martinis that float on clouds too. Like, really nice martinis. But yeah, I get to decide who comes in and out. I feel like that's what this person's doing. But the situation is is like they went and got advice from somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about. 
or, 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 or that's the uh, those are the options that surround them in these situations like people who are giving like either bad advice or not really giving as much as they can or being stingy in their old age because you don't really know who's behind here it's, it's like mystery people and there are like this couple here so it's not just them they're not alone it's like other people are listening too but like what's being listened to is just kind of It's like not hearing something that's actually helpful. Which is weird because Ten Pentacles is on the other side. It's like. Hmm. It's almost like someone got disowned because, like, this couple broke up or some shit, right? Um. Prince of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this this is, could be how they see you, Gemini. Uh, hostile, when to come in, says a lot of like, rabble, 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 dilly dally, shilly shally, stuff like that. Um, it talks a good game, but doesn't like have checks his asking cash. Like a lot of talk and um, nothing to back it up. Like just. The emptiness of this freaking desert is just visible to them. That's what they see about you. Like, I think they're sad, but they know that they made the right judgment call about you. Because it's like, even if they approach their elders about these options, they I think this person's already aware that they're not going to tell them anything that's going to be helpful. Because they already made the right judgment call. Because like, they see you as somebody who really can't deliver on anything. It's like you're just empty. This person's tired of having the emptiness, too. Um, you know, this person felt, like, really stuck in the scenario. Mentally or whatever. And they just left. They left you a turtle. They left you memories. But, um, they just left. Because it felt like, no matter what, it was like they were being watched or something. Or they felt, like, very intimidated from the fact that, like... I don't know, maybe you're keeping an eye on them or something? Group 2. Obstacle and challenge for this person? Princess of Wands. Traveling, um, going somewhere, talking of good news? Could be an Aries Leo or Sag. Um, I want to say being arrogant about it. Like, doing something impossibly just to... Prove that it's my way or to have look like, this person is um I feel like this person wants good things. You know? I feel like this person wants good things and they will become a total dick to make sure that they get those good things. You know? It's like, no, I'm going to be in control of all this and none of this is blah, 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 blah. It's like being impulsive with it because it's like a lack of control. And it's just like with you, Gemini, they can't see anything with you because they, they and I don't think it's like an element of them wanting to control everything. I just feel like when they aren't having a good time or when they think that someone's trying to take it away from them, I think it triggers them. I think I talked about that in your other reading you triggered someone's timbers and this is like a follow-up to it it's like they don't want to be around you or something or they don't trust you and they feel like there's nobody they can really come to about this because people will just say something like oh well maybe you should try to talk to him and alleviate your mind but this person's like no i already know what the fuck's going to happen i know this person right here and this doesn't have to be you gemini you know cross watchers all like that shit, right? But I feel like this person just loses their shit because it's like, they don't have any um... Hey, Colin. Like, they don't have any ground to stand on. It's like... They feel like... You cut that off from them. Like, you don't have any respect. Or something. Like, the, like I don't... Is that right? Respect? Is that it? That's kind of weird. Whatever. Okay. I mean, respect is earned, not given, but I guess that's beside the point. But I feel like this person must feel like 
if, if, even if they did get your respect, it'd probably be hollow. And if not, they probably feel like they need to find ways of, like, making it not seem so hollow. Because you can probably see it, Gemini's. I'm just putting that out there. Um, whoever is who in this group doesn't matter, but I just want to point that out specifically. Um, just because of the Prince of Swords being here. Because that's, like, really weird. This is just really weird in itself. This is weird, too. It's like, like that's a really, I mean, that's a really harsh way of looking at somebody. But then they got the judgment card here, so it's just like, yeah, okay, I, I guess if you're going to go that route. Um, I feel like the fear and rejection of this person with the world trying to make something come together, um, it, it is stuff wouldn't change. Scorpio right here. Uh, death card. They feel like nothing would change with this scenario, so they should, so they should just leave it dead. It would just be a repeat, a cycle. Okay. Um, Ten of Pentacles. Um, this family unit, they got their back turned to it. This is how it started, and this is how it'll end. Group two. And the ending theme is Five of Swords, Shadow Side Upright. Someone was walking away from someone's, like, Yeah, this person caused this guy to take off, but because he was smart enough to do that, now he's kind of becoming, like, really, really, like, in the element of the King of Cups right here. Like, the dude who, um, caused the other one to walk away from is becoming the King of Cups reverse. Like, mean. Like, really mean. Um, not really figuring things out, getting roughed up more and more, and, like, going crazy, because he's bit too much time up in the wilderness as the hermit, right? Clothes tattered, feeling like you're depressed, feeling like you can't open up or whatever to it, because this person's been through something right here. Um, trying to take destiny into their own hands, though. Trying to work something. Um, and seeing that, like, whatever this pairing is, group two, it is, um, not only not good, but, like, the devil's kind of backing it up, just being like, May hey, I got my hand up here, maybe, you guys, if you, like, take the time to listen to each other. Nobody asked you, Satan. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry, you, you all just continue to do whatever you use. Like, that's kind of what this, what's going on in this person, it's just like... There's something here in this pairing where it's just kind of like they don't see the good in any of this. It's like if we bring out the worst each other. You know, like it, it would be terrible to wait <laughs> for this thing to come about. Because we both know what happens when it does. <laughs> it's kind of a sad reading. Well, Gemini... And cross watchers alike. That was the reading. So thank you for watching my video. Um, if you want a personal reading, I'm not taking them until like about the 10th of July. But when they're open, my email is in the description box below. Just hit me up there. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations. Like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. You guys have a good night, and I will see you later. Bye. -bye.